Um, that there is the drama he's got to school, which was with Vinda Davis and George Layton. That at the side is where Timmy Lee and Sidney Noggett had theirs. That's crap. Right, um, of the Confessions fans, this is the, what would have been a doorway, which was used in con Confessions of a Driving Instructor. This would have been one that George Layton and uh, Winter Davis had the Truscott School of Motoring, and it was, was here, which is now uh, the state agents. Now, as in, my, in my previous video of this location, this <coughs> is where the novelty, where we doesn't get the hell out of it, was situated. And that was there when the film was on. It would have been about there, I think, where the door to the Nogley driving school was. Now this is Groves No Road. I think the building there in yon distance, that's the BBC. Yeah, that's the BBC Studios. The house there with the Toyota in the drive, that's where Liz Fraser had a lodging house where Timmy Lee and the, sh the road bend there, that's where Timmy Lee comes round in his um, driving instructor car. Now heading for another location. No, this this isn't it. There it is. Where's the McDonald's? This was used in the early credits of Confessions of a Draft Instructor. No, I stand corrected. Pop Performer. Uh, Confessions of a Pop Performer. Where Timmy Lee crashes his bike into that sign advertising the band. <coughs> Which was somewhere near where that tree is. Now this scatter sunshine. This this of a uh, shrubbery here. This is where I believe it used to be the one of the entrances to the what was then part of the LG Studios, which is sold off this plot, but it's now a Tesco. This is where 
Timmy Lee and Sidney Noggy had their window cleaning business in the uh, profession of a window cleaner and also served as the entrance to the hospital where Olive was seen bringing out her, her baby in on the buses film, the first one and the bus would be parked there so this is also served as entrance site to the hospital as well as the uh, the, ba the base where they pack their mini from window cleaner. Right. <coughs> and mate. More locations later. Well, I've got the chance when I'm down here. Pardon me, snorting. I would say largely a lot of the locations are as they were with very slight cosmetic changes. Um, well, the McDonald's, which was a pub, I believe, uh, called the Red Lion. That was the Grosvenor Hotel. But it's now been renamed as the L Street Inn. Well, of course, these are the these are the streets which would have you would have you'll recognise, especially with the church there in the distance on the left. Where you would see Timmy Lee riding down on his window cleaner bike. The only difference is, I believe, uh, now, well then, there weren't these little central reservations, these little islands, uh, for the pedestrians. I don't, I don't think they were there then, in the film. But uh, I'll do some more later, more locations. Now, I'm going to go for my group. Right, um, another confession of a pop performer location, this time Leeming, Leeming Road, and the co-op which you can see there, that is, was a co-op in the film. So that's still, oh, obviously the, the outside is altered, and um, So this would have been where Carol Hawkins and Minnie crashed into the kip uh, the kipper, or, or I should say, this is where the bloater tour bus was crashed into by Carol Hawkins Minnie on the on the at about here. in the film and this is where that was there in the film and this is where the, this is where the, the bloater bus turns in to leaving road yep so this is a location from confessions of a pop performer Right, Confessions fans, another location, uh, this is uh, the Bournemouth Library, which you remember in Confessions of a Pop Performer, this is what you see when the bus first pulls up, is the side of this, it's a bit dark here, but this is the side of the library. Now, 
the actual location of the Civic Hall, which is where the, the Clapham Old Girls are going to. is no longer there. It was flattened sometime in the 90s. That there was the site of the Civic Hall where Kipper had their first live proper performance with Timmy Lee on drums. And just up there, that's where Carol Hawkins and her father were seen walked along and where Timmy Lee was waiting for them after all the top mold girls had gone inside, especially with the woman with the ear trumpet missing. So this is the site of the Civic Hall. Right, in the Confession of the Pop Performer film, they're all sent out to buy singles to get them on the talent show done by Maxi Knowles, Star Knockers. Bill Maynard's character is seen looking at uh, the record shop, which is in Watford. And then the camera cuts away to this pub, which is the Crown on Shenley Road. And that up there was a sign saying Double Diamond. But well, this is definitely the pub as kind of implying that Bill Maynard's character was grabbing for a pint here than buy the records for his uh, his son. His son his son's group. Right. Location number two is the shop where Elizabeth Radlett, a Linda Hayden, meets Timmy Lee for the first time when he faints after seeing the shop manager and the window dresser at it when he sees what I think is the third leg, it's actually a leg from a dummy. And when it cuts way to the pub there, so now we'll look at the film again properly, it's either Let's Meet or Simpsons Estate. Um, but it's, again, without really looking at the film, I can't really. Right, so my suspicions tell me it it's not one of these two shops anyway. I, I say I don't know without looking at the film again. I reckon it could be the Simmons Estate. That's where the shop was, where we see Tim, Timmy Lee's character faint to be awoken by Linda Hayden who and like I said because it pans up it pans up to where the uh, the crown pub is right location number three this video will be next yeah so this is where you fainted anyway well we're up to where around here. As it definitely pans up, you can just recognise the side door of the crown pub. Right, um, 
you might recognise this building from Confessions of a Window Cleaner. That's the other side of the road though. Right, this is the general area where Timmy Lee's character in Confessions of a Window Cleaner meets Linda Hayden for the third time. The second time being the shrubbery bit near Tesco's, which is used to be at the entrance to the studio box, which is now so it's big Tesco now. Um, but this is where Timmy Lee's character comes, spots Elizabeth Radler uh, on duty, and in this central bit here, like the rest of Shimmer Road, wasn't there then. It, it was a wider road then in the 70s. Now, if, I, if anyone rem remembers Confessions of a Window Cleaner, this is what this is where one of the locations where he goes to meet this lass who's crying because her partner Ronnie she's been cheating on her, and he she persuades himself to simulate the text with her to get Ronnie jealous. It turns out Ronnie's a woman. Um, Ronnie is a woman, and they end up in that uh, bed which is in the cupboard, uh, falling back into the cupboard hole with all three of them in the bed. And this is where Timmy Lee puts his bike in his window cleaner ladder. Yeah, so that's what I nicknamed Ronnie's Maison X because yeah, this is definitely the location used in Confessions of a Window Cleaner. And it's uh The, the road signs up there. I think it's Deacon Hill Road. Wait right, a minute. Yep, Deacon's Hill Road. You can't miss it because they, they turn off as a big textile garage. And this is this is Alan Lane. Right, this is another lo uh, Confessions uh, location. This, if you recall, Confessions of a Window Cleaner, this is the point of where WPC Elizabeth Radlett, i.e. Linda Hayden, um, stops. No, I've no, Timmy Lee pulls up and he sees her, and he's kind of in the middle of the road, so you've got to imagine that, like the rest of Shenley Road, this island in the middle wasn't there then. The, this, the main street was a lot wider, they, they didn't have any of these bollards and pedestrian areas. This was a complete road. So, Timmy Lee pulls, pulls up here. Pulls up here with the with the car there, you know where the uh, the way lines are. Linda Hayden's character is about here, opposite uh, what is now Caledonia Chicken and Ribs, off with Great Wall of China. <coughs> and this is where Timmy Lee, well, she advised him to get his bike up the road. And when he does that, he's his ladder smashes the bloke's window, and that's here. So this is a, this is another location from Confessions of a of a Window Cleaner, and there's another one coming right up. So, so yeah, so that that's the general area where Timmy where Timmy Lee pulled up with like Linda Hayden for the I think it was the third time in the film. 
but now I'm going to take you up to where they met for the first time, where Timmy Lee is looking into a shop window and sees the, one of the shop managers and the one of these um, window dressers um, basically having a bit of how's your father, a bit of nucky, well she's, she's seducing her so I'm now going to take you up to the the shop for the general area where I believe it, it, it happened. This is uh, Glen Haven Avenue. Uh, that's around there. Right. Oh, this is tricky. I believe what is now Simmons. Where's now Simmons Estates is the shop. It's doubled up as the exterior for where Timmy Lee fainted. When it pans up the street, you can just make out the crown pump. So can recreate that. Right, so Timmy Lee look into his shop window, then he faints about here. Then when the shop pans up Yes. But it's out of this one. Let's meet. Oh it's, it's out of that shop here. Where could have fainted? Oh, it's this one here. But it's, one of, it's definitely these two shops here where he faints and he meets uh, Linda Hayden's character for the first time. <coughs> now, the next location was was actually um, a cutaway shot, and I'll explain when I get there. Right, in Confessions of a Pop Performer. Bill Maynard's character sent out on on the bike to uh, to buy some some records to help boost their record sales. And you see him look at the record shop, which I believe is, I've been told is actually in Watford. And then there's a cutaway shot to this pub. They had double diamond where that crown symbol is. That's where the double diamond sign was. And the only other thing was that there was a street name about there, Theobald. Theobald Street. But that's now been removed. But then this, this was definitely the pub. Well, although it's only a cutaway shot, this is definitely the pub. Where Bill Maynard's character decides he's going to go instead of spending the money on buying uh, the single for Kipper. More locations shortly.